Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your weekly dose of some uh, low calorie, high protein, high volume meals. Uh, and today I'm actually going to be doing a full day of eating 1,700 calories. And I'm actually just about to put uh, a spin on a French toast recipe that I think even Greg Doucette would be proud of. Uh, so yeah, let's go to my first meal. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding 200 ml of egg whites to a bowl. That is going to be followed by one whole egg. I'm gonna add in 30 ml of zero calorie maple syrup, 20 ml of low fat milk. I'm gonna add five ml of vanilla extract, some cinnamon. Let's give all of that a good mix together. Then what I'm gonna do is break up four slices of 60 calorie bread and just add the little chunks into the mix. Then I'm gonna mix all of that in so the bread saturates the egg white mix. And the bread will break down into smaller pieces as you do this and that's fine. All right, so this is how we are looking at the moment. And now I'm gonna spray four muffin holes with some one calorie spray. I am going to load my French toast mix into the holes. All right, so this is how we are looking now. Pretty even, I think. And now I'm just gonna put them in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius uh, for about 20 minutes. Oh, and if you watch my videos on a semi-regular basis, you have probably heard me talk about the J. Clark Fitness Nutrition Hub before. Uh, so in here, you got access to hundreds and hundreds of my recipes for breakfast, for lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts. Uh, and right now, if you use the code NUTRITION15 at the checkout, uh, you will get 15% off. So yeah, I will leave the link to the Nutrition Hub in the comment section below if you want to check it out. Uh, and yeah, if you are a fan of my recipes, then this is an absolute game changer. So treat yourself. Okay, so French toast muffins. Pretty f***ing cool. Bro. But yeah, I really, really like this recipe. I have to say the muffins are nice and firm, which is surprising enough, I think. Uh, and in terms of toppings, there is definitely a couple of things that you could do here. So you could sprinkle some low calorie sweetener over the top. You could saturate it in low calorie maple syrup, which is 100% what I do. Uh, or if you wanted, you could have it with some frozen berries on top or some fresh berries, whatever you want. But yeah, really good option for breakfast, low in calories, high in protein, nice and filling as well. And some of them come out kind of weird, like a bit of a weird shape. So um, yeah, you never really know what you get until you take it out of the oven, which is just exhilarating. All right, so for lunch, I'm gonna be making a pasta dish. And I wanted to use Fusidi, but Rach has absolutely ruined this video by storing our pasta like this. Okay, we are looking much better. Okay, so I'm gonna kick things off by cooking 40 grams of whole wheat pasta in a saucepan of boiling salted water. And as that is cooking away, I've chopped up four of these pork sausages, so only 43 calories per sausage. Uh, for those of you living in Ireland, I got these in super value. I'm pretty sure you can get them in Tesco as well. I've chopped up 90 grams of bacon medallions into little pieces, and I have also chopped up 100 grams of mushrooms into little pieces. If you don't like mushrooms, then you can use another veg instead, like peppers or onions or whatever. I am going to add my medallions, my mushrooms, and my sausages to the pan. I'm gonna season with some sea salt, some garlic, and the main event, some smoked paprika. All right, so now that everything on the pan is almost good to go, I am going to add 50 grams of spinach into the mix, which seems like a lot, but in about four seconds, it wilts down into nothing. And now for the final stages, so I'm gonna add my pasta into the meat and veg mix. I'm gonna add in 150 grams of tomato and chili pasta sauce. And if you are a bit of a pasta sauce snob and you don't like it from the jar, then by all means, make your own. And I'd actually love to know if anybody here is like really snobby when it comes to a certain food or a certain drink. Like you won't eat something unless it's cooked a specific way or something like that. Because ever since I got this Nespresso machine, I think I'm turning into a bit of a coffee snob. Like I used to actually enjoy the taste of instant coffee, had no problem whatsoever with drinking it. But now, like whenever I have an than coffee, it just tastes terrible. So yeah, comment below and let me know, what are you snobby then? Okay, 
Okay, so that bacon and sausage pasta dish is so, so good. Like out of all of the recipes that, that I've ever made, I've come to the conclusion that you can just never beat a solid pasta dish. Like it just hits the spot every single time. And while I was making that, I was actually thinking about how shit it would be if you actually like had the belief that you cannot eat pasta or you cannot eat bread and lose weight in the process. Because, you know, if you watch me regularly, then you will know that this is obviously not the case and you, you can include loads of tasty meals, loads of tasty foods in your diet and still, you know, remain on track with your weight loss goals in the process but you know there is a completely different side to YouTube a completely different side to social media in general where people actually believe the complete opposite so there is people that preach that you have to cut out carbs and you have to follow a ketogenic diet in order to just live a healthy lifestyle in general and in order to you know lose weight and I actually feel sorry for the people that come across you know the people that preach those kind of things first and fall into that trap versus you know coming across people that preach the kind of things that I preach because the difference in them actually following a balanced diet, you know, and having a healthy relationship with food versus following a very, very restrictive diet is literally just one click of a button sometimes. All right, so next up, I'm gonna be making a dessert style recipe and I'm gonna start by adding 15 grams of vanilla fat-free yogurt to a, a bowl. That is gonna be followed by two teaspoons of low calorie sweetener, 15 grams of zero calorie maple syrup. I am going to give that a mix and this is going to be my frosting. Then I'm gonna get a separate bowl and add 40 grams of blended oats into it. That is gonna be followed by 30 grams of vanilla whey protein from bulk and if you are picking anything up from bulk whatsoever or you just want to support me then make sure uh, you go through the link in the description of this video it would mean a lot then I'm gonna add in 60 grams of no added sugar apple puree this is actually hard to find uh, in Ireland anyway so I got this on Amazon I think but yeah it's really really low in calories you don't really taste it whatsoever uh, it more so just adds a nice bit of texture uh, to a lot of dishes. Then I'm gonna add in 60 ml of low fat milk, a sprinkle of cinnamon, 15 grams of zero calorie maple syrup, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and mix it all together until a smooth consistency is formed. Then I'm gonna put it in the microwave uh, for one minute. Okay, so we are looking good. This is the type of consistency we are working with. So it is gooey, but not too gooey. Finally, let's add the frosting to the top. All right, so this is pretty much like a poor man's or a low calorie man's cinnamon swirl. And I am 100% all for it. It is unreal and I do not throw that word around I actually do throw that word around quite a lot uh, but honestly it's so good and it is definitely the frosting that brings it all together if you are a fan of white stuff dripping all over the place you will love this mm. that poor man cinnamon swirl comment actually reminded me of something completely random uh, so me and Rach had a conversation it was definitely when we were both in a calorie deficit because that is the only way this conversation would ever ever happen uh, but I remember we were saying like imagine you could give somebody your calories so for example it would be like oh man like I'm really really struggling today would you give me 200 of your calories and they would give you them 200 calories that would increase your maintenance by 200 and you could have an extra 200 calories so it's kind of like a currency and now that I say that that kind of reminds me of that movie uh, time I think with Justin Timberlake so time is a currency so you I think you give people time I haven't seen that movie in ages um, but yeah I don't know what I'm saying okay so it is time for my final meal of the day I absolutely love this one for those of you who meal prep you will absolutely love this too all right so I'm gonna start by adding 150 grams of diced chicken breast to a pan that is gonna be followed by about 15 ml of light soy sauce some garlic some smoked paprika let's mix it all together okay so now that the chicken is nice and golden I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna throw in a bit of a curveball that nobody expected and I'm gonna add about 15 grams of maple syrup to the chicken I'm gonna mix it all in and this is gonna be such a nice contrast to the soy sauce so it's sweet and salty all right so chicken is looking so full of flavor and I put it to one side then I have resprayed my pan with some one calorie spray and I'm gonna add one pepper that I've chopped into little pieces I'm gonna add about 50 grams of spinach leaves 
Okay, peppers and spinach are good to go, and now I'm gonna add 125 grams of microwavable rice to the pan. I have gone with basmati. I'm gonna add in one bag, which is 160 grams of cauliflower rice that I've heated up in the microwave as well. This is the one that I'm using, so only 29 calories per bag. I'm going to add my chicken back into the mix. And then I'm gonna add 15 ml more of light soy sauce, another 15 grams of maple syrup, and mix it all together. Okay, so this meal is a bit of a box ticker. You know, it's low in calories, it's high in protein. Uh, it is tasty, it is high in volume as well. So yeah, it really does tick all of the main boxes anyway, uh, in terms of a meal that is going to satisfy you on a lower calorie diet. I even like the way there's a nice blend between normal rice and cauliflower rice, because cauliflower rice on its own can sometimes be a bit boring. Well, it wouldn't be in this situation because there's just so much going on. But yeah, when it is blended in with normal rice, it is actually a lot more manageable for those of you who are not a big fan. And yeah, I know the addition of the maple syrup might be weird, but I won't say anything else. Just try it. But yeah, I am going to wrap the video up there, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you comment below and let me know, and make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Doing either of those things, that's kind of hard to say, uh, really, really does mean a lot because it helps my videos reach a bigger audience. Uh, and I'd actually love to know what your favorite recipe was as well. So was it the French toast muffins? Uh, was it the bacon and sausage pasta? Uh, was it the poor man's cinnamon swirl? Uh, or was it the sweet and salty chicken and rice dish? But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I I hope you are all keeping well uh, and I will see you in the next video.